Hello, and welcome to Problem Solvers. My name's Matt. Every month, the museums of the University of St Andrews bring you a problem from the past and a problem from the present for you to solve. Christmas is on the way, and Christmas is a time for charity. So today, Problem Solvers is asking you, how do you choose to give away your time and money? In the early 1900s, a lady called Elsie Bell Pettigrew found an interesting way to give away her money. She gave it to the University of St Andrews so that they could build this, a natural history museum. Why? The clue's in the name. Her gift came with a condition. The museum had to be named after her former husband, James Bell Pettigrew. He died in 1908 and she wanted a way for him to be remembered and honoured. You can't get away from the fact that the museum is in his memory. His name is at the entrance, his initials are above the door, and even the subject of the museum reflects his character. James was a naturalist, meaning he studied the natural world and the museum is all about the natural world. The very fact that Elsie wanted a museum named after her husband reflects who he was, because he had been the curator of museums in Glasgow and Edinburgh. Elsie took a key role in designing the museum. She helped design the mosaic floor. And chose the cabinets. They were made by the same company who made the cabinets for Harrods, one of the UK's poshest shops. Only the best for James. So, my problem for you today. If you were going to open a museum in somebody's memory, who would it be for? What would it show? And what would it look like? Send us your thoughts, designs, even videos to museumlearning at st-andrews.ac.uk. The word we use to describe different ways of giving things away is philanthropy. And to help us understand philanthropy better, we're going to speak to Michelle Fugel Gartner, a researcher at the University of St Andrews, whose job it is to understand philanthropy. Philanthropy seems a strange thing to be interested in. Uh, why do you like it and how did you come to spend your time finding out about it? Sure. Well, I really like how philanthropy helps us learn about the world. So um, philanthropy helps us think about societies and how societies care for one another. It helps us think about the economy and how we make money and why we give it away. It helps us think about history. So, for example, you know, why do we have libraries or um, how did slavery become abolished? Or how did women gain, gain rights? Um, so it really provides a, a lot of different ways to look at our world. Um, I didn't know that philanthropy was actually a job you could have for a really long time. Um, but I was always interested in social causes. Uh, for example, in middle school, I wrote to a charity that was um, an anti-smoking charity and they sent me buttons and badges and posters and I had a little campaign in my school. But actually, uh, it was a personal cause. My parents smoked and I didn't like it. And so I also scattered some of the materials around the house. Um, I found that working in charities and then in philanthropy really helped me to connect to the social causes that I was passionate about. So you spend a lot of time finding out about how people give and why people give, but don't people just give away money to make the world a better place? Well, absolutely. That's one really good reason to give, but it's not the only reason that people give. Um, if we think back to the example you shared about Elsie, it's also uh, people give to remember somebody. Um, they might give money because their friend or their family asked them to give. Um, like in my example, they give because they want to feel part of a social cause. Um, sometimes people might give because they want to be noticed or appreciated, or maybe they even receive some reward for giving. Um, and then also people sometimes give for a little bit less positive reasons, and that's to avoid paying their taxes. So is it, is it really charity if someone's giving away money for their own benefits? Oh, well, that's a great question. I would say when we give to somebody, the main intention is to help that person. And so we are certainly thinking about somebody else, but we can't deny the fact that in giving, we might have a warm feeling or we might feel good about that. And that's that's a benefit to us. We might also receive benefits like thank you notes or um, appreciation, and, and that's a benefit back to us. So if we want to make the world a better place, what are the different ways that we can give? Well, I think importantly, we should think about philanthropy as three different activities. Um, you can give your treasure, which is your money. 
you can give your time, or you could give your talent. And so we often talk about philanthropy as giving of money, and this can be done in many, many different ways. So people might give while they're living, while they're still alive. Uh, people might give after they pass away. Um, people may give anonymously, which means they don't want people to know where they've given to, uh, but other people might want to have their name on a wall or they want to be recognized for their gift. Um, so there's many different ways to give our money, but importantly, giving of our time is also very important. So you might volunteer your time at a homeless shelter or a food bank. And the third way is giving of our talent. So you might be a, a very skilled artist and, and donate a painting to a fundraiser for a charity. Or you might have business skills that you want to contribute to a charity to help with their operations or like their communication or their finances. So I think it's really important to think about philanthropy in these three ways, giving of our treasure, our time and our talent. And how do people usually choose which charities to give to? Well, this is another hard question because once again, there's many ways for people to decide which charity to give to. I mean, there are many charities and causes to give to, and it can be really complicated for people to make this decision. Um, some reasons people give and maybe one of the most important reasons is that they were asked to give so they might have received something in the mail or through their email um, they might have seen something on social media a friend or family might have asked them to give to a particular charity and they do so also they might have been giving to a charity for a very long time so they keep giving to that same charity um, as in my example, they might give to a charity that is close to their heart, or they might have had a circumstance in their life, such as cancer, that makes them give to a particular charity. And they might think that the charity is creating a better world or having a good impact, or they might like the stories that the charity tells. Um, sometimes people see another person, such as a celebrity, give to a particular charity, and so they want to be part of that, and they give to a charity for that reason as well. Um, so there are a lot of ways to do a decision about which charity to give to. And uh, is there a best way to make the decision? So that's my challenge to you today. Uh, we've talked about many reasons why people give and some about how they make their decisions to give to a charity. And with the holiday season approaching, you might be thinking about making a gift. Um, so I have three questions for you today. The first is, why do you give? What are the reasons that are important to you? The second question is, how do you make a decision on where to give your treasure, time or talent? And the third question, and importantly, if your friend or family member was thinking about making a gift, what advice would you give to them on how to make a gift and where to give? Michelle, uh, that's given us a lot to think about. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks so much, and I look forward to all of the ideas. So there you go. Send us your thoughts on the questions Michelle has asked to Museum Learning at st-andrews.ac.uk and next month Michelle will give you her thoughts on what you've sent. In the meantime, have a very happy Christmas. <laughs>